Hey, what is up guys? My name is Elian, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we figured out Tetra was Zelda, and the King of the Ro Red Lions was actually King Daphnis No Hansen Hyrule. Yes, and in this episode, we are going to do a mainly side questing video, so like I say in every side questing video, if you're not following along and you're just doing the story, there will be no story progress in this video. So, with that said, let's get on with it. Alright, so, first off I noticed this mailbox was shaking again, so let's see what's inside it. Alright, let's see. You have, how have you been, big brother? I'm here on a pirate ship waiting in this and this neat. At first I was really scared, but they are all actually nice for pirates, I mean. Mr. Gonzo is a really big guy, but ever since Miss Tetra left, he's been crying like a baby. It's kind of funny, but sort of sad, too. Nudge is a little strange, but nice, too. And as for since, uh, he, his beard makes him look pretty mean, but he tells really cool stories when he gets in the right mood. Zuko's kind of weird, and Mako is pretty quiet. Mako immediately gets mad whenever I try to take his glasses, so I do that a lot. Hee <laughs> hee. As usual, Nico is always fooling around. He won't take anything serious. Actually, he seems sad not to have you around anymore. Were you guys good friends? I help them all out with their chores, and, and they actually pay me a little for it. So I'm sending the money to you. Please use it, big brother. I'll loan you my telescope for a little longer, but you have to return it to me eventually, okay? I'm doing fine here, so don't worry. I'll take care of myself, so you be sure to take good care of yourself. Good luck, Air Earl. But speaking of money, we will be needing a lot in this video. I think we need at least 700 rupees. But that actually won't exactly be a problem, but actually, because there's like money in the sea. But first off, no, not that spoils bag. Do I not? Oh no, it's in the delivery bag. We, th we're gonna do the trading quest for the flowers for this guy, and for, um, god dang it, I forgot his name, but it's a trading quest that gets you two items, one is a piece of heart, and one I won't spoil for you guys, but let us go ahead, and well, first I want to show something off, if, if you do want some rupees, I think we can actually get 200 if we do this completely right. But let's get some bait out because we're gonna need it. Why did I do that? Um, there. Anyway, let's go find the map fish. Um, where are you? There you are. Okay, um, let's go ahead and sail over there. Um, yeah, don't know what to say right now. <laughs> anyway, go ahead and throw out some bait and it'll come over to you and eat it. Make sure you've already get gotten the map for him because this won't, you know. And also you have to have the bow, obviously, because it's a bow mini game. Anyway, he'll um ask you like I don't know. He'll give you ten arrows and you have to shoot him and stuff. Anyway, Let's um get this started. Hopefully I can do it. I'm not the best at shooting arrows. But you know what? We're gonna do it. Uh, sadly, I didn't get um, all of them, because if you got all of them, that would mean you doubled it. And he looks like he's impaled with it. He must be like a mortal or something. Does this guy have a secret identity, too, that we don't know about? If so, we, we need to know about this. Yeah. Alright. Anyway, you want to go ahead and go to Great Fish Isle. Well, first play the Battle of the Gales. Then, you go to Great Fish Isle. And na 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 I'm gonna be showing you guys the most efficient way to do this trade thing, my jig, because it's actually pretty, pretty easy if you do it right, of course. Now, you will be needing a lot of rupees, but trust me. Let's see if we get any new Tingle Bottle. Am I ready for this? No, 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 no. That's spoilers. That was new, but it was spoilers. <laughs> 
Sorry, guys. Um, no, this is not where it is. It's actually on this platform right here. Now, these guys qualify as pictures. They're all, all different, but only one. Oh, you only need one of them because the guy doesn't recognize them as different Gorons. Anyway, go over to him and talk to him. He he'll tell you about how he's a traveling merchant. And yeah. And it's basically boring. And then you want to take out your picto box, take a picture of him and that's good. So but one thing I want to show you guys. This is something you can do to him. It's kind of funny. Yeah, that's it's uh, I mean, I it, it's I just think it's kind of funny, you know. Anyway, give him the uh, flower, the town flower. Be that uh, you want a sea flower? Yeah, we want a sea flower. And then he'll be like twenty rupees. And then you give him twenty rupees, and then like you get this like sea flower. But after you trade the sea flower, you're gonna get this cinematic camera like this. And then <laughs> well, basically, it's just boring stuff. But <laughs> you get what I mean. Once you get the sea flower, you want to give it back to him, and he'll be like, "Huh, that's a sea flower! Oh my god, I've never seen one!" And I'll give you an exotic flower, so yeah. So it'll be twenty-five rupees. It increases every time. I don't know by how much, but yeah, exotic flower. And I think yeah, this is all you want to do here for now. You will have to come back here like two more times, I believe. Yeah. And the reason I'm not, like, going back and giving them to the one guy who sells you the town flyers is because it goes to him instantly. Anyways, go ahead and play the Ballad of the Gales right in front of him so he knows how much power we have. Go ahead and go to the Forest Haven because, well, we there's not one at Forest Haven, but north of it, which is Bomb Island, it's, um, like... Um, dang it, what is it called? Ugh. I'm trying to think. It's like... What was I even saying? Gee, anyways. I don't even remember what I was saying. I'll go back in, like, into the video, and then I'll be like, oh, well. Yeah, but basically, you don't have to go back and give them to them. <laughs> Let's just go to Bomb Island. I'm being annoying. Alright. Yeah, that platform... That platform... Voice crack. That platform's really low. At least it looks really low. I mean... Anyways. Go ahead and get to Bomb Island. And my picto box is empty, so I might as well just take a picture, some pictures of people. I'm gonna take a picture of the stalker telescope guy if I didn't already. I mean, I might have. I have no idea. Does this guy even qualify as one? I swear if he doesn't. Okay, he does. Good. All right. Like I said, the uh, freaking merchant won't like recognize these guys as separate ones. No, I don't want to... No, I don't want to throw it away. I think you have to talk to the, all of these guys before, you know, you, um, trade with them because they'll tell you the exact same thing every time and it kind of takes me off. Anyway. And they'll say he senses things in our delivery back. What are you, stalker? Go ahead and give him the exotic flower. And he'll be like, do you want a sickle moon flag? That thing looks pretty sick. And the fee's like 40 rupees. Yeah. <laughs> this is really boring, like I said. But it, you do get really good rewards. Two good rewards. I mean, yeah. And also, uh, I think you get three good rewards if you care about how the world looks. Um, anyways, give him back the, um, flag, because he'll be like, oh my god, I've never seen that before. There's no way. And then he'll give you the fountain idol. Yeah. Yeah, we want it. 
And I'll be like, the fee will be 65 rupees. It goes up every time for some reason because, like, they're they're cheap like that. Once you get the fountain idol, you just, like, skip all of this text because it's, like, the same thing every time. And, yeah, so... Yeah. Let's go ahead and get back on the King of Red Lions because now we need to go to the Mother and Child Isles because... There's another merchant there. Anyways, play the Ballad of the Gales again. <laughs> Don't warp to Mother and Child Isles like I did in like one episode because you'll be stuck inside the island because there's no way to get out. But, and that's also like how you like advance the story. And we will have to do that a little later in the game. But don't do it now because if you did it now, then well, you'll like. Um, advance the story, and we don't want that yet. Um, that's not the way I want to sail. I want to sail towards the Mother and Child Isles, which is right up there. And, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, I wrote a lot of notes for this episode because, like, I had to get out. I had to plan out the most efficient way and stuff, but it's really... It's probably not the most efficient way, because knowing me, I always say things are like the best way possible, but then it's not the best way possible. It's more like the worst way possible, because... Yeah. Anyways, once you get to Mother and Child Isles, like, about here, you'll start... Oh. You'll see, like, the Goron Merchant back there and stuff. So, go ahead and get out of the boat because whoa that was kind of close go ahead and get out of the yeah, like go up here and then talk to him because I think you have to always talk to him and stuff and things but he has nothing good to say and once you're done talking to him wake him up by yeah no wake him up by um getting his hat off and then you want to go up to him and give him the idol the uh, thing yeah anyways he'll be like you want this blue flag thing and I'll be like sure and it's 35 rup that went down huh that's weird and then and then after whoa. And then afterwards, um, we want to go back to Great Fish Isle. No, we don't give it back to him because this one isn't stupid. He doesn't take your crap. Even though you will have to come back to him later. Anyway, after you're done trading with him, just go back to the King of Red Lions like I'm doing. Have you ever... God, enough of the voice cracks. <coughs> Sorry. But have you ever watched a Let's Play and it has no commentary and it's so boring? But at the same time, you realize, well, if it did have commentary, it'd probably be the exact same thing. But, like, it makes it less boring. And I always think commentary is what makes a Let's Play a Let's Play. If not, it's just looking at the game. Like, there's no point. But once you're back at Great Fish Isle, you, like, gotta sail back over. And, like, don't ask me why, but, um, this, I feel like I am a, wow, well, I can't get that tingle bod. I feel like I'm a half and half with walkthroughs and let's plays. Because I, 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 prom I like, don't promote, like, I, um, I would like you to play along with me at the same time. Because, like, it's just a good idea that, like, I think it's just a good idea, you know? Huh, that's a big flag sale thing. And then he'll um, give you the flag. And yeah. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Man, I cannot commentate over this very good. There is like nothing. Then you want to trade the flag well once you're done with the dialogue then you want to trade the flag back or right, thanks for coming all this way to show me this but i only trade three wow all right good thing we have the song of passing no 
No, that is not. Why are you showing him the Wind Waker? No, I wanted you to do this. <laughs> Jesus. All right. I think I think this counts. I think it can be night, right? It doesn't have to be. All right, good, good. So you trade the flag back, and then he'll give you a postman statue, like the we the Weedo tribe, really the Rito tribe. Yeah, a whopping 100 rupees. Yeah, hopefully I have hopefully I have enough um, rupees. I hope. Anyways, now guess what we have to do? We need to go back to the mother and child aisles. So yeah. This is getting kind of redundant, so I suppose we can go ahead and cut. Okay guys, we're back at the mother and child aisles. Now this is actually the last trade, yeah. Well, technically not. Oh, let's go ahead and get a picture of this guy, because there's only actually... There's actually only, like, a few in... Really? Really? Are you kidding me right now? Do I seriously, like, have to... Alright, come on, face me. Face me, please. Nope. That's good! Guys, that is good. Alright, good. Anyway, go ahead and talk to this. Well, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna kill this guy because I want blue chew jellies. Blue lives matter, guys. Go ahead and shoot him, and it'll take him out in one hit, I believe. And get that blue chew jelly up in there. All right. Now let's 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 trade with this guy now. Go ahead and show him the statue, and he's gonna give you another statue. Yeah. <laughs> and he gives you the heck. <laughs> Who is that? No. Um. 200 rupees! Alrighty then. And you get the Shop Guru statue. Now, you don't get to keep this. This may be the final trade, but if you want a piece of heart, it's not the final trade. So, yeah. It's the final trade to get the second reward, but. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to Great Fish Isle, so I will meet you guys at Great Fish Isle. Okay, guys, so once you get back to Great Fish Isle, you wanna go ahead and go back. I assume we can open this one. Well, I'm done with Dragon. Yeah, cool. I assume. Like, I assumed we can open that one because the last one had spoilers, and I will be blurring the. Not blurring it, I'll probably just put a sensor on it. But it had spoilers and stuff. Go ahead and give this to him. Is is that? Hey, it couldn't be. The shop guru statue. Such a divine figure. Oh my God, it's legendary. You know, it's like finding a legendary card on Clash Royale. Yeah, and you get a piece of heart. Woohoo. Yeah. Anyway, guys, um, let's go ahead and head back to Windfall. Where's the boat? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head back to Windfall because, yeah, that's where our next reward is. So, yeah. Let's play the Ballad of the Gales again because that is, like, probably the most used song in this game. I mean, people would think, you would think that the Wind's Requiem would be the most used song in this game, but nope. Nope. You don't have to use it anymore because of the freaking Swift Sail because it changes the wind for you. Like, really. You only have to use it when you're, like, Deku Leaf Gliding or something. But, yeah. Uh, I hate- I, I- You know what? No. Ugh. You know what? I'll be, like... Um. I should set the settings for no spoilers and- Oh my god! Enough! Jeez, all right, let's let's play the uh, song of passing because we have to do that to talk to the guy, I believe. Or else we'll activate a different side quest, and I don't want to do that. Anyway, go ahead and go over here, break this pot because it has rupees. Yeah. All right. Afterwards, once you're completely done with this quest, wow, I believe this is the third reward because. 
You change the world by getting everything. You get all the flags, the statues, and the flowers. And he adds like three more things. Anyway, I oh, don't talk to you. Go over here. Go, come here. Hurry. Oh, to this guy. Yes, yes, young master. Look, already my shop has a wide variety of products to choose from. It's cornucopia. It is a cornucopia. Thanks to you, young master. Every morning the postman comes with packages from the traveling salesman you traded with. At last, my humble stall has the appearance of a full-fledged store. My dear, your unflagging dedication has strengthened my determination to live my life for the success of my business. Master, you are the savior of my stall. I must thank you for you from the bottom of my heart. This is my most prized possession. Thank next, next to my hoodie coat, of course. It is none other than the Zunari family treasure. Please accept it. And you get the magic armor! Yes! This is like really awesome item. And... What this does is it, it protects you, but if you get hit, you'll lose the rupee. So let's just try it out. And, um. And yeah. It makes this, like, really awesome aura around you. But let's go ahead and take some pictures of people. Now, I don't know if this one even counts as one. Hey, it does! Alright, cool. Anyway, we're gonna take a picture of some people until we fill up our thing. Take a picture of you. And I think we can take a picture of you, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. And I think we can also take a picture of the other side. Yeah. Hopefully that counted as two different people. If not, then I'm screwed, I think. I think I already got these two up here. I, th I got you guys. I know that for a fact. I know I got him. I know I got Zunari. I don't know what I haven't got. Well, there's people down here when you come sailing towards it. There's like these guys. But I think I got him. I know I didn't get you, the poor dude who used to be rich because he paid off the pirates for so much. I don't think I got you. And I also don't think I got. I think I got him. Can't be for sure on that though. I think. Well. Well, crap. Let's um, go ahead and get back on. No, I don't think we can get a decent picture of him right now. Um, let's take a picture of you. There's not really many people I can take pictures of. Let's see, is there other people? Um, well, there is this guy. But I think I already got him, honestly. But we'll get him. Alright, let's go ahead and end things off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. See you guys next time. And next time, we're going to be doing the Deku Tree Sprout side quest. See you guys then.